Hey y'all, today we are going to be making um, some elderberry tea. Oh my gosh y'all, the benefits of this is amazing. It is good for your heart, it's good for wrinkles, it's good for aging in all aspects, inside and out. It's good for weight loss. It's also, now most of you know what elderberry is, um, it's also known to uh, help with uh, the flu season or like um, anything that comes up, colds, flus, it just helps protect you. So uh, I am going to also, in this episode of Simple Living, I'm going to make apothecary, um, it's like a tinger. Um, it's a drink that you can drink uh, either as a pre uh, preventive medicine or if you happen to use or sniffle nose or sore throat or any kind of flu-like symptoms you can start drinking it right away. Um, so I'll show you how to make that so you can keep that stocked up for the winter and anyway yeah I'm excited. I'll leave the link um, on my in my description box for the brand that I bought and trust as far as elderberry goes and for those of you sorry about the noise that's my uh, <laughs> That's my teapot, my electric teapot warm, uh, getting warmed up so I can have some elderberry tea. But for those of you that don't know, you never want to eat elderberries. Like, you know, you're not going to just pop one in your mouth. You always have to cook them. So this will, this will steep. I put one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons actually, of elderberry in there. And I will pour eight ounces of boiling water over it and then let it steep for about five to seven minutes and then drink it. So kiss me, you know I don't like whiskey. This is why we were why it's you and I dancing in the moonlight. Girl, you bring the sun out. This is why we were why it's you and I. Okay, y'all, we're gonna make that elderberry syrup. Three and a half cups of water in a little pan, little saucepan. And then we're just gonna dump everything that I say into this pot and let it simmer for about an hour and it'll thicken up. Then we're gonna strain it and put it into our little mason jars and put it in our refrigerator. And then we're gonna put, uh, I believe it's, it, it needs to be filtered water as well. So you wanna put about one tablespoon, two tablespoons of freshly ground ginger, but I don't have any. So I'm going to put, let's see, I need to get. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of freshly, not freshly, <laughs> dried ginger in here. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. Now, if you're using fresh ginger, you want to use two tablespoons. So want to do that. Then we're going to put one teaspoon or a couple of cinnamon sticks. You can put uh, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon or you can just plop in a couple of cinnamon sticks, which that's what I'm going to do. Just plop them in. And then we're gonna put a half a teaspoon of ground cloves or one teaspoon of whole cloves. I'm gonna use, whenever I can use, you know, the whole cloves or, you know, I prefer freshly ground ginger, but I just am out. So I'm gonna put one teaspoon of whole cloves in there. And this is, like I said, it's gonna be a wonderful um, thing to have around during the winter months, fall months cold season it's gonna be great all right so we're gonna put one um, one teaspoon of whole cloves into there and I think that's it I think that's all we're gonna do and now we're gonna let that um, simmer as I said we're gonna give it a little stir 
and you're gonna simmer this. Oh! <laughs> okay, you need to put, <laughs> you're gonna put two thirds of elderberry. I'll leave a link for the ones I'm using. Two thirds cups of elderberry. Yeah, it wouldn't be elderberry syrup without the elderberry, y'all. So, you know what? <laughs> y'all need to keep me on my toes. All right. So we're gonna bring it to a bowl, then we're gonna put a lid on it, and we're gonna let it simmer for 45 minutes to an hour until the, the uh, liquid gets kind of like a syrup. I had me some elderberry tea a while ago. Oh my gosh, y'all. So, it's like my, well, I have a lot of favorite teas, y'all know that. <laughs> I like the butterfly pea tea. I like rose tea with rose nectar. But yeah, this is, this is becoming one of my Another favorite. <laughs> okay, so that's it. So anyway, I'll be back and I'll show you what this looks like after it's simmered for 45 minutes. Awesome. Okay, I apologize for the mower. <laughs> My husband just got home and he has to mow the backyard. I mowed the front for him today because he's, uh, Air raid in our yard tomorrow. So you're gonna hear the mower, I'm sorry, just a little bit. But anyway, you wanna get these elderberries and you just wanna smush them against your um, strainer to make sure you're getting all the juice out of them, all the goodness. Here's your cloves and your cinnamon sticks. Um, if you can use fresh ginger, I think that's that would be best. I just wasn't, I just didn't have any. You know just when to kiss me, you know I don't like whiskey. All right, we are gonna make our elderberry um, chia jam. I looked up a recipe and I couldn't find anything that I, that I wanted to make, so I just took bits and pieces of different recipes and make, I'm just gonna make my own. And I'll leave at the end of this video. I'll let you know if this was good. Okay, so these are our elderberries soaked overnight. And we're just gonna dump them in here with three-fourths cups of water. And we are gonna bring this to a bowl. and then we'll add some other stuff. We'll bring it to a bowl, and then we are going to uh, remove like one cup of the jam. And we're gonna blend it in our blender with our maple syrup sweetener and some, um, a few chia seeds. And then we'll return everything back to the pot and bowl it again. And then we'll put it in a jar and call it good. And I'll let you know how it turns out. I think I might, um, no, I would. I thought about putting a cinnamon stick in here, but you know what? Now nah, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm just gonna sweeten it with maple syrup and we're gonna thicken it with chia seeds. Most, most recipes have been called them for pectic, pec, pectin. <laughs> Pectic, <laughs> pectin, and uh, and I'm just going to use chia seeds to thicken mine with. But again, you know, I'm just like I said, I'm, I've got a recipe that I'm trying to look at, but I don't have everything that they that it calls for. <laughs> so I am just adapting. Yeah, but if you have sugar-free pectin, we'll go ahead and use that. I'll leave the recipe below because this is confusing. So we're gonna bring this to a bowl, like, you know, it's almost there. And we're gonna turn it off, and we're going to put one cup in uh, my Vitamix, and I'm gonna blend it up with the uh, maple syrup. And then I'm gonna add the chia seeds because I like the texture. I don't wanna blend up all my chia seeds. Okay, y'all, we are going to put the cup of elderberries that had bowled on the stove. And I found some date paste. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use about a half a cup, not quite half a cup, but almost. In case I hate the recipe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's a, about a half a cup, a little less. Alright. Use a 
spoon and get the rest of it out. Don't want to waste any of that. I don't know, have you ever tried date paste? It's actually really good. It's a great substitute for sugar. All right, and then three teaspoons of chia. So I'm gonna put two in there, chia seeds. And then I'm gonna put one in my actual jam because I like the texture. All right, I'm gonna blend this up and then we're gonna add it back to the pot and boil it again. And then I'll add the chia seeds in after we're done boiling it and we'll put it, we'll can it up. smooth and now we're going to bring that to a bowl so you still have some texture because we only used a cup of our elderberries to blend up and so you'll still have some texture here some little beads of elderberries if you don't want texture at all blend it all you know it's your kitchen you do you go ahead and taste this because the only thing left is to add is a teaspoon of chia seeds to help thicken it up. Okay, I can tell you right now, this is some good stuff, man. <laughs> You're gonna wanna slather this on your toast, on your bagels, on your English muffins, on your sourdough pancakes, my lord. I think I could bottle this up and sell it. It is that good. This is good, y'all. This, uh, <laughs> I'll try to leave a link. This is fantastic as a sweetener. Well, gas stoves, I tell you what, they just don't mess around. When you need to boil something, you put it on here, you turn around and you come back and it's boiling. <laughs> no more waiting to watch water boil because I love, I learned how to cook on a gas stove, being in base housing, military housing. And um, and then, you know, over the next 25 years, sometimes I had a gas stove, sometimes I had electric. But I was so excited. This is the third house we bought. I was so excited when we bought this house. This is our third house. Because it was the first time I had gas stove again in a long time. So. I was happy. <laughs> I didn't want to stay down there too long because you know I'm Lucy and I will catch my hair on fire. <laughs> so, uh. All right. This is at a boil, y'all. So I'm going to let it cool off a little bit, add my chia seeds, and we're going to go ahead and bottle this up. Just give it a good stir. It's like that. Now, I don't see why you couldn't add different berries, too. You can, um, I have an easy jam recipe with just, I think, three ingredients. I'll try to leave some, some cards or something up in the corner where you can click on to get that recipe. But I can't see why you couldn't add mixed berries to this or blueberries or raspberries or blackberries, whatever kind of berry you want. And do elderberry. Just have a, like a four berry jam. And if I'd have been thinking ahead, I would have done it too. All right, I'm going to pour it in here.
It's time to taste the elderberry jam that I made. Sorry for the lighting. Been busy editing all day and so I remembered I needed to do this before I post the video. So this is the elderberry jam and I'm gonna taste it. And I've never made it before, so we'll see. Okay, um, maple syrup. I feel like the, the date syrup is good, but if I was just gonna be totally honest with you, if you make this recipe, use maple syrup. I think it would even, it would jack up it higher in the taste department. Now, I'll eat all this jam, don't get me wrong. It won't go to waste. But when I make it again, and I will make it again, I will use maple syrup. Thank you so much for stopping by Simple Living and enjoying elderberry recipes with me. I had such a blast making the juice, um, the elderberry juice for health reasons. Um, I drink uh, one tablespoon a day for preventive, and then if I happen to catch anything, which God <laughs> willing I won't, um, then you would double up to one tablespoon every three hours um, for, for 12 hours if you happen to get the flu or the cold. And then I loved having elderberry tea too. That is my favorite way to drink it. Yeah.